The first got me into music was um, ages ago. I wasn't, I wasn't even doing music, I was a street dancer. I was always into doing like choreographies and I got into classes and that. But what got me into music was um, when I realized what I could do in music, where you can actually like write your story and kind of write what you go through. Dance could be a way of like, um, it could be a voice for you to like express yourself and like vent. But I never really found it like that. I found it just something to do for fun. And I always, I would always catch myself in dance classes, like um, singing the lyrics rather than like, remembering the choreography. I subconsciously wanted to do music. It was one of those where I never thought about doing it. Even in high school, I was like, I had no music training whatsoever. I can't even play a keyboard. But then it was like um, one day, um, just randomly, one of my mates went to a studio at a youth center called YAC. I just went in there because it felt like a, I just went around one day, I just thought, why not? And it felt like another world. It was a different, different experience. I remember when I, I went in there and then my, my mate was like, do you want to like rap on, rap in the booth? Like, just like, cause we make, was making a song and I was running me, I was always writing, just venting, putting out my feelings on a piece of paper and like, but when I actually came to rapping, I had no idea how to do that. I just thought, why not try it? So just for banter. And then I went in the booth and I just, my legs were shaking. I don't even know why, it was like I was gonna perform, but it's like, I'm just recording. It was just a whole nother experience to me. So uh, being at Hertfordshire, I always knew, even at college, people said Hertfordshire is a really good university, but I never really like, um, thought of it like that. I never, I, mean, I never looked into it too much. I just thought, yeah, it's cool, but I'd rather be in London. Of course, when going to the open day and just seeing like everything, like the studios, seeing um, the campus itself how, and how nice it looked. And also thinking the idea of actually um, living away from home, it made me think actually I can grow a lot. It feels so much like London, when it, like in the atmosphere and just how people's energy is. It's like, it's one of those where, and I feel like I never really left home. Some people that, that had never been to London before, they would ask certain things like, um, where is that or where is Ealing, where is Greenford, where I come from? I'm like, how do you not know where these places, where these places are, for example? You know? and, I'm, and I realised they come from other places, but because London is so close, they can go to these places. The performances I would do with the music I got showed me um, how great it was, how it's affecting people, how it would like, turn heads and perk ears, and it's been incredibly useful. The performances were almost like allowing me to just see how good it is, you know, because Outside of these walls, you don't know how great your music is anyway. But like, there's a certain feeling when you perform it, and it's, it feels a certain way. And then you see how people react to it, and it's like, okay, I got something, you know? And that's why I feel like, I feel like out of any other year, third year, I, felt, I really felt it. Like, ever since um, I tried to plan my sessions before lectures or in between lectures, just to keep busy, because it's one of those where sometimes you come out, you leave house, you leave your home for about an hour and a half for a lecture. And like, it's cool, but it's like, it's like it's an hour and a half and it's not really a school day. So it's like, and I'm so used to like, if I'm leaving, I'd rather do something. I'd rather be out all day rather than go in and out. I'd rather just stay on campus. So instead of doing, staying on campus, not doing anything, I'll put myself in the studio and just work, try and do something. And that's why every, since first year, I've always come up with like a project. I've always come up with an EP, a mixtape, just to like, I know I'd, I'd always drop it around like the time we finish uni, just to like, kind of like look back and see how well I've done. I kind of use it as like a checkpoint to see, okay, this is, this is what um, level I'm at right now. I genuinely feel like success is next. I feel like, cause I mean like, that's what I want to go for. I want, I've got dreams that I want to like, and goals I want to shoot for. But I feel like after this process, I feel like I can do anything I want to do. That's why I'm going to spend like a year just to like work on music, um, make some money so I can do more projects, put out more videos, do more interviews, um, perform in other places and just be keep bettering myself. Cause I feel like, um, that's what I feel like. Like I know a lot of people when they leave uni, they haven't got a clue what they want to do and they're not ready to like do anything. Cause they feel like they still need to work at it. Whilst um, myself, I feel like, um, I feel like because I was so locked in the mode of, um, I gotta get better, I gotta get better. Like I'm preparing for it. Um, because I've done so much, I feel like I'm prepared to do anything. I feel like I can, I can do anything.